name is Delaney Bravo. I am a mortgage lender at First Coast Mortgage Funding, and I am here with my friend and business associate, <laughs> Veronica Moore with Florida Homes Realty and Mortgage. Hi guys. Five of the most common questions that we get asked from first time home buyers. Absolutely. So um, really the first one is that I get, and I know you get, is what does my credit score need to be? Right. We've done so many loans and closings together where people didn't even think they could buy. Absolutely. So there's um, really the minimum score and being a mortgage broker, I have access to 30 lenders. Right. So I can really match people up, but um, the minimum score for FHA is 600 yep. right now. And then the minimum for conventional is 620. Um, VA is 600, so um, really we're looking at a 600 plus and you can get in a home. What about the process? That's like another big one. Yes, the process. So uh, the process, it's different for each buyer. Um, obviously at first we're gonna start with our house hunting. Um, I've had buyers sign the first house they see, um, or it could take a couple of months. It really just depends. As far as when you're under contract, I would say it normally takes anywhere from 30 to 45 days, just depending on the lender. Next one that I know is always like the first question is like, how much money do we need? Right. So if we need our down payment, and then we need to factor in any closing costs, which are like the title fees, government fees, all of that good stuff. Okay. So um, one big myth I want to bust is you don't need 20% down. You don't. You do not. <laughs> Most um, buyers that are first time buyers usually will go with um, an FHA loan or a um, down payment assistance. Those start at 3%, 3.5% down. Right. Um, the closing costs are typically about 2% of the house. So if you're buying a $200,000 house, and you're paying all your own closing costs, then you wanna have about five to 6,000 for that, plus your down payment. So that's where we crunch the numbers. If we need to ask the seller, we can always try and see about getting seller credits, but we'll Absolutely. get you to where you wanna be. Okay. Out-of-pocket expenses on top of that, like what do I need to be prepared for? So I would say out-of-pocket expenses. Uh, first off, you wanna be prepared for your buyer, your earnest money. When you find that house, you wanna be prepared to put that money down. Uh, it's normally anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000. It really just depends. Uh, another expense is the home inspection. That's mm. normally anywhere from maybe three to $400. Uh, home inspections are very important. You want to make sure that uh, the inspector gets in and takes a look at the property, things are, that are not visibly seen to the eye. Appraisal is anywhere from maybe four to five hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, um, and then possibly WDO, uh, that could be anywhere from a hundred to two hundred bucks. Gotcha. So maybe and about $2,000 total. Gotcha, that you would wanna be prepared for, but whatever Absolutely. that binder is, is gonna go basically towards your amount for right, closing. Right, right. Cool, what is that first step? Yes, uh, the first step is to get pre-approved. So you wanna make sure before you look at any other houses, uh, before you're lining anything up, that you get pre-approved because that's gonna determine how much you can afford, uh, you want to make sure that you're within your budget. So that's very important. The first step is getting pre-approved. So hopefully yeah. this kind of cleared up some questions. Yeah, um, if you guys do want any info, I'll put our info on the screen right now and we will talk to you later. All right.